Hello, it's Susan here from Kamari no Hime Cosplay, and today we're going to be making the accessories for Cinderella. To make Cinderella's necklace, I started with a piece of double-faced black satin ribbon that is slightly smaller than the width of my neck. To attach the hardware to it, I'm using some ribbon clasps that just attach onto the end of the ribbon, and you squeeze them into place. You could use a bit of glue if you're concerned about them staying. On one side, use a jump ring to attach a lobster claw clasp. On the other side, use a jump ring to attach a length of chain to make it adjustable. I also added on this little glass heart charm just to make it a little bit more Cinderella-ish. And with that, Cinderella's necklace is done. To make Cinderella's earrings, I'm using these large plastic pearl beads. The only problem is that the hole in the center of the bead is quite large and the eye pin goes completely through. So to act as a stopper, I put a iridescent sequin on the end and then threaded the bead on so that it stays in place. Twist the end of the eye pin into a circular shape. This takes a little bit of practice and is something that I haven't done in a while, so I definitely need practice as well. Then we're going to use a pair of snippers to trim off the excess. Then use your pliers to round out the shape. If you have pierced ears, you could use a earring hook on here, but my ears are not pierced, so I'm going to be using a clip-on base and we just put the charm onto the base and bend it closed. Repeat this process so that we have a completed pair of earrings. To make Cinderella's headband, I'm using the same pattern that I used for the dress and transferred that onto some tissue paper because I didn't want to cut the original pattern. And it called for a padded headband, so I got this velvet headband from Target though I think it is a little bit more padded than they intended since the fabric just from cutting using this pattern was not big enough to go all the way around. So I did have to widen it a bit at the middle and then taper it back down. And I used the same blue satin that I used for the dress. Starting in the middle and working my way towards the end, I wrapped the fabric around the headband, folding the raw edges inward, and then just hand sewed a whip stitch to hold it together. You don't have to worry about the stitches being very pretty since this is not going to be seen. It turned out a little bit lumpy, it probably would have worked better if I used fabric that had a bit of a stretch to it, but it is now done. And with that, Cinderella's accessories are complete! For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!